Hey guys, it's Brown Bear here. I'm gonna show you how to do uh, mission goals, how to set up some mission goals in DCS World. Um, mission goals are for, you know, um, at the end screen when you when you do a mission or complete a mission rather, um, it'll detail out all the actions that took place in that mission. So what time you took off, what time you started the engines on, what time you took off, what time you, you know, got shot or you hit something whether you might missile or guns or whatever, what time you got killed, damaged, all that kind of stuff. So basically everything that goes on in the mission, it captures, um, but also captures points um, as a result of those kills or being killed. So um, very important for scoring. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. I wanna show you how, how we do this. So first of all, we go into um, mission editor. Uh, let's create a new mission. Let's just go, so obviously, you know, you pick your you pick your map, pick your coalitions. Let's just go to default, okay? Uh, mine's stuck on Nevada, and this is the default. Uh, sorry, there's the default layout. Let's go modern. Click OK. Wait for it to load. So, what we need to do is we need to create a couple of units. So let's go ahead and. Some ground units, make them Russian, and uh, let's stick them over here. Parump. Let's do. Uh, let's call it tank one, and let's copy and paste that into the its unit name, which is I always recommend you do, and let's make four. Right, just 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 for the sake of making four of them. Uh, no, we don't want the waypoints. Let's just split them up a little bit, and um, we'll leave it at that. All right. Then what we need to do is we need to go into um, mission goals, which is up here. So this goes for any units, right? So blue or red, um, good or bad. And, uh, so, and for, just for the sake, let's just show that. Okay, so let's go. Um, let's set up some American tanks. Good old Bradley. Um, and we'll call him Friendly Tank One. Copy and paste that into the unit name, and let's do the same. Let's make four of these bad boys, right? Now, this is where it gets interesting. So we'll go into um, mission goals. And what we want to happen is we want, when, uh, say, a blue guy, so one of us, we're the blue team, kills a red guy, kills a, red, a tank, red ta Russian tank, uh, we get points for that. So um, let's go ahead and go new. And this is offline, okay? And the reason it's offline is because this is not a multiplayer um, mission. So it's a single player mission, so offline. And we'll call this uh, Red Tank 1, right? Uh, so Red Tank 1, which is, say, this guy here. So Red Tank 1, if we kill him, we want to say we get 100 points, right? So what we need to do is go new condition type. It's gonna be you can you can assign all sorts of stuff here. So um, if there's a bomb in the zone, so if you're flying over to here these enemy tanks, for example, and you drop a bomb and it doesn't hit one of them, but it hits you know nearby them, you know in the middle say of, of the four of them here, so thereby damaging somehow the four tanks, but it doesn't kill them. You can you can say bomb in zone. You put a tr trigger zone in here. Then you call it whatever uh, bomb zone, for example. Um, and you can basically based on that bomb zone. If there's a bomb in the zone, you will get points. And you can do you can do all sorts of this. Um, but for the purpose of this, we're talking about um, killing or damaging. Right, just make it easy because you you can I'll leave the rest of it to yourselves. Um, so we want unit dead, right? So unit dead, and we pick our tank. So we're talking about the red tank, which is tank one, as you remember. So tank one. So what this means is 
if the red tank one dies, right, or in other words, the blue team kills the red tank, uh, red tank number one, we get 100 points. And let's go ahead and do the exact same thing, um, but for damage. So we want to um, clone this because we already have it, right? So we clone it to make life easy for ourselves. And then the tank is still the same here, so it's red tank one. And let's change the score. We're not going to get full points for just damaging the guy. So let's say we get 50 points for damaging the guy. Uh, it's still offline, obviously it's single player. Um, but we need to change the condition here from unit dead to unit damaged. Okay, and obviously the unit remains the same, tank one. So what this means here is we've got two, two mission goals here uh, set up. So we've got this one here, which means if red tank one dies, we get 100 points. If red tank one is damaged, we get 50 points. And let's go ahead and you know make this a bit more friendly for um, simplicity. So we go red tank one damaged, and let's rename this one red tank one dead. Yeah, and that's it. Um, let's go ahead and do the exact same thing now for the blue guys. So we're gonna go uh, clone this one. And I want to clone this one. And I'm going to go instead of red tank, this is going to be friendly tank. Friendly tank. And we need to change the units, if you remember. So, uh, friendly tank one. Boom. Friendly tank one. Okay, don't forget to save. The amount of times I have done a mission. And forgot to save. So this is not Persian Gulf. Uh, this is uh, Mission Goals YouTube. Whatever. Uh, let's save that. Right. So I've gone ahead and taken the liberty of just setting up all of the um, mission goals. So just duplicating what you saw there, what you saw me doing for all of the guys, right? So now what we need to do is I need to make sure these guys engage each other. So I need to go, uh, uh, let's make the red guys rubbish. So uh, our skill is average and I want to go advanced and I want them to <clears throat> attack group. And the group's going to be friendly tank. And I want the American guys, the friendly guys, I want them to be excellent and I want them to do the exact same thing. So attack group, right, red tanks, yeah. Let's save that and let's see what happens. Okay, boom. Fire. Didn't realize I made those guys APCs. They didn't really stand a chance there. Um. <laughs> right. So, let's quit the mission. Right. So, as you can see here, um, this gives you the breakdown. So, this is the deb debriefing screen at the end of your mission and uh, this is where obviously all the scoring and log logging takes place so and the uh, attrition side here we have obviously vehicles here which is what we're interested in uh, one of four red uh, were destroyed that means and zero of four blue were destroyed um, so as you can see uh, over on the center column here we have score is zero don't know why that's zero but result is a hundred um, so maybe someone let me know why that's zero. That's a bit odd. Um, but yeah, result is a hundred, um, and it's a hundred because if you look further down the section here, right here, eight uh, twenty-five seconds. Tank one one, which is um, a Russian tank, uh, died, um, and so obviously there was a hundred points awarded to the blue team for killing 
that Russian enemy tank or APC in, in this case. Um, I don't know why they didn't show up as damaged. Um, maybe it has to have, a, to have a certain amount of damage or percentage damage or hit points damage before it registers. Maybe someone could let me know. Um, but in essence, this is this is how you do it. Okay. Um, and obviously from here you can you can do whatever you can watch the track back you can save it replay it at another time which is good for recording little tip and um obviously you can save the briefing or try it again but let's i want to show you one more thing let's go back into the mission editor and um, i want to show you you can actually do something so upon um a certain mission goal taking place so for example you know upon us wiping all of these guys out so upon the blue team their blue tanks killing all of these red uh, Russian APCs and destroying them you can um, end the mission or you can play a message audio or text or whatever you want to do um, to let you know maybe your buddies know that look the, the enemy group has been wiped out return to base um, and it's kind of handy especially if you're doing multiplayer stuff so uh, and you do that by setting up a trigger so um, if you go up here to set rules for trigger uh, happy to do a uh, trigger tutorial if anyone wants to see that um, there is uh, I'm a bit I'm a bit anal about my triggers uh, I like to categorize them and everything so um, I'll be more than happy to do that it would just take me a while to do it because I am so anal about it but uh, I'd be more than happy to do it if anyone wants to see that but anyway for, let's go uh, trigger new trigger um, it's just gonna happen once so once uh, and I, again I can explain I think I can explain all this logic if someone wants me to do that I'm happy to do so the condition is going to be let me see uh, group dead All right and the, the the group obviously dead in this case we're talking about the red the Russian tanks here so or APC so it's uh, the tank one group and then so basically what this means is set up a trigger and it's going to check the DCS checks every every one second uh, these triggers so every one second it's going to check um, this condition if it's true once so basically is the group dead right in other words and then the action so as I said you can play a message text voice or text or sound or whatever you want to be uh, and so you go into actions and let's just go message to all and say yay we won right and we can set the time display for uh, however long you want. Let's just leave it at 10 seconds, okay? And if you want to delay, you can put a delay in, in and again in seconds here. Um, so let's, I want to change this actually. So I want to go um, unit dead. There we go, unit damage is fine because we know that's going to happen. Tank one, right? And let's uh, save that. Let's go ahead, play the mission again. Okie dokie. Zoom on out, let's watch this take place. Turrets are turning. There we go. And there we go. Yay, we won on the top right of the screen there. Um, because obviously that unit was damaged um, and one of them got destroyed just there but there you go that's um, in a nutshell that's how you set up mission goals that's how you can apply a trigger to mission goals you can uh, and as a result you can have an action at the end of that um, trigger happening or taking place or being true or whatever way you want to put it um, so look I hope you uh, enjoyed it and um, you know hit the like button uh, subscribe please subscribe right now it would help me out big time I'm trying to get trying so hard to get to 100 subscribers and really really get seen on YouTube we all know what this YouTube YouTube algorithms like so I'd uh, appreciate it and um, yeah look a random shout out to uh, one life one life you actually happen to be my uh, newest subscriber so a uh, bit weird that you got the random shout out and you just showed up in, in the in the tool I use but anyway one life thank you very much for su subscribing and supporting my channel I really do appreciate it and uh, look guys if there's any as always if there's any content you want to see or you want me to cover off please let me know in the comments below or join my discord come along say hello and we'll chat to you there take care guys